hello and welcome back to this channel once again in today's video lesson we are going to learn how to design and simulate a circular patch micro strip patch antenna that operates at 2.45 gigahertz frequency and in this lesson we are going to use the cst studio 2019 software so we launch the software and then we have this interface and so we select new template and then we select microwaves and RF or optical we select this and then antennas and then we go to next we select planar we go to next time domain next we don't alter anything here we move next and then we set the minimum and the maximum frequency now because our antenna is going to operate at 2.45 gigahertz we select the minimum frequency to be 2.2 and then we say maximum 2.8 we select e field h field far field and then we have our center frequency to be 2.45 and then we select the next and then we finish so basically the design space is being set up for us for us to start or begin our design so first of all i mean we have the window ready for us to design we go to view we uncheck this box and then we also deactivate the working plane next we go to modeling we select this local wcs and then we have this axis here and then we go back to the view we select rotating plane and then we rotate this we rotate this okay we rotate this such that we have the i mean the u axis this is the x axis we have v that's the y and then we have z that is the w axis so now we can proceed with our design so first of all we design the ground plane so we click on this box and then we design our ground plane so for the ground plane we type in ground underscore plane and then we want to have the ground plane such that some fraction will be on the positive x or positive u axis in this case and then negative u axis so we have negative i mean u axis we type in negative j l over 2 and then on the flip side we have positive j l over 2 we do same for the width j negative j w over 2 and then we have j w over 2 and then here we have negative mt and then this becomes zero notice that we are going to use copper for the ground plane and then we are not going to select pure copper we select anode copper we want to account for losses i mean some form of losses in the design now we select the length of the ground plane to be 70 mm with 70 mm and then the thickness of the copper to be 0 0.035 so there is the ground plane next we move on to design the substrate material we select this same box we double click and then we have this box so that becomes the substrate so same method for same method for the ground plane I and mean, we do same for the substrate and then also for the w axis that is basically going to be the height or the thickness of the substrate material so we select sh and then we are going to use regis rt 5880 for the substrate material we select the lossy one okay so we have the length of the substrate length of substrate 70 with 70 the height of the substrate 1.588 now at this point you notice that the substrate this axis is lying i mean beneath the substrate so we want to bring it on top of the substrate so we select the transform local coordinate system and then we type sh 
and then preview you realize that we move upwards and then we select ok now at this point you are going to design the patch in this case the circular patch so we come to circular or we come to cylinder we create cylinder and then you double click at the center so we name this that is the circular patch now the outer radius we are going to name it as p out and then we have inner radius inner radius is p in and then we set u center to zero we center to zero and then this to be empty thickness of the patch and then we are going to use copper anode copper so the outer radius is going to be 24.15 and then the inner radius is going to be zero because we really want the outer radius and then we select ok so we have the patch lying on the substrate material now the next thing is that we need to cut into the patch okay we need to cut into the patch and so we are going to create the insert feed so we are going to move downwards i mean along the positive view axis to the circumference of the circle so because we move along the positive view axis the value becomes positive and the radius is p out so we type p out we have p out here and then we move along to this point so we are going to create the gap in the circular patch so we have this to be inset feed and then because we are moving along the negative view axis we have negative inset length this place is zero i mean we are not going here so it becomes zero and then because you are moving on both sides you want the width so it becomes negative inset width over two and then positive inset width over two and then we have empty so insert length let's make it 15 insert width we can make it let's say eight and then we click on ok now because we want to create a gap we want to subtract the insert feed from the patch so we click on patch we come here boolean subtract insert feed enter and then we have the gap created now let's move back to the center along the negative view axis so we have negative p out negative p out we move back to the center and we want to come to the edge of the substrate along the positive view axis so we add we move we want to move downwards downwards along the positive axis so it becomes plus so plus and the distance or the length is half of the substrate material so the length of the substrate material so sl over 2 and then we are at this position so the next thing is that i want to draw or design the feed line so you have the feed line so this is the micro strip feed line and then we move along the negative u axis and then on both sides on the y axis or let's say the v axis so mw negative mw over 2 and then we have positive mw over 2 and then we have mt here so the length let's make it half of the length of the substrate material and then the width we have let's say 2 or let's say we can make it 1. Point nine or one point eight okay so that's it now let's join the two materials so you come to the patch we click we click on patch we press on control and then you also select feed line and then we add so they become one material next we want to assign the port so we press on F, we double click here, and then we come to home, macros, 
solver pot and then we calculate pot extension coefficient so we calculate and then we construct pot from big face so the pot is intact we close it and then we come to view and then we check the bounding box the radiation box and we are okay with our design at this point we can simulate so we go to home and then we start simulation so once i mean the simulation is still in progress i'm going to pause the video and then i'll resume when the simulation is done okay so now simulation is done so let's move ahead and look at the performance metrics of this circular patch micro strip patch antenna so first of all we click on um, this 1d results and then we go to s parameters so here you realize that i mean we have the antenna operating at so let's right click we go to add curve marker and then this point it operates at 2.4544 gigahertz so that is a bit okay even though and um, we'd need to do some form of optimization at least we have something closer to what we expect and so um, we want to get the bandwidth so the bandwidth we have at the negative 10 dp downwards we can put one marker here and then another one also here so below i mean below this within this range below 10 db that is the effective operation region of the antenna so if you want to measure the bandwidth you basically subtract this frequency the second one from the third one so there's a minimum frequency maximum frequency you do the subtraction you have the bandwidth now let's move on to the vswr so vswr at 2.45 at 2.45 we have 1.2335 okay and we know that vswr is supposed to be closer to one so we have 1.2 which is a bit okay but we can do optimization to further push it close to 1.0 so that is that and then we come to far field here we have we have the directivity that is 6.589 at the operating frequency so that's the directivity we have the gain we have the gain to be 5.822 dbi that is also okay so this is the gain and then we can i mean view the antenna within it okay so this is the gain so we have the gain having maximum intensity the radiation maximum radiation intensity above the patch okay above the patch and then below the patch we have um, something small because we have a foreground plane is blocking the radiations and so we can only have maximum intensity above the patch okay so this is a plane antenna great and we want to look at the 2d radiation pattern so for the 2, 2d radiation pattern let me deactivate this so we have this is the h plane so that is phi at 90 degrees the h plane h plane is the the magnetic field okay the magnetic plane okay and then we have phi at zero e plane so electric field electric plane okay so that's the e plane phi at zero h plane phi at 19. yes so basically even though our antenna is showing a bit of an okay performance i mean we have to do optimization so that we get what we are looking for now to do optimization some common methods or approaches that you have to maybe adjust the width the weight of the feed line okay the weight of the feed line maybe you can increase or decrease it also you can adjust the radius of the patch okay and then maybe we can do something to the ground plane okay so basically these are some common techniques in i mean optimizing to get a better performance
so thank you for watching i shall see you in another video bye bye